Hey guys, here Marty Giga. In this video, I will be revisiting one of my favorite launchers on Android devices, which is Yahoo Aviate Launcher. Uh, used to be back in the day just Aviate Launcher, but Yahoo purchased it. And this is a launcher that I used to use on almost every single phone that I had because I loved it. And I like the fact that it changed the way your phone looked. It, it totally made your, your uh, Android phone look totally different, not like Android. But they've done lots and lots of great updates. And now it looks like you see here, now it looks a little bit more like a, your typical Android home screen. But it keeps a lot of the features that I used to love on the old Aviate. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of the features just in case you are new to Aviate Launcher. Um, first of all, this is a free launcher and it's owned by Yahoo. Um, right here, when you swipe now to your to from the left to right, uh, you get like cards. And in these cards, you get like a lot of useful information, like for example, breaking news uh, around me. Uh, this is a very cool section right here when you're out and, and about. Um, doesn't matter where you are, based on your GPS and your location, it's gonna show you guys different different um, locations here, like restaurants, bars, anything around you is gonna show you right here. You got breaking news, or you got morning news right there, which uses I think the I think it's the Yahoo Daily app something like that and it works very good when you tap on one of them it take you directly to the app and it takes you very very easily very fast to the app like you see there very fast and it's very good to read news here i like this app a lot um also here you got upcoming events so if you have upcoming events on your yahoo calendar you're gonna see it there um here you're gonna see your weather if you tap right there it takes you to the yahoo weather app like you see there, uh, which is one of my favorite weather apps as well. And here you got settings. In settings, you can sign in as your Yahoo. Uh, you got hidden cards. You got set home and work. This is very good that you set it up. Um, and now, uh, it's, I think it's been now for a while that you can actually choose. Like you see here, I got different icons. It looks very, very cool. And right here, I see it totally customizes all the icons of all the apps, which is cool. I think let's go ahead and press and hold. You could pr either press and hold there or you go to setting here. I could press and hold here. You got wallpapers, add widget and settings. Press settings here and uh, icon pack. This is the one that I'm using right now is Voxel. Voxel, that's the one that I'm using. Uh, Rondo, you could change it to Rondo and look at that now they look very awesome you could basically use any icon pack that you have downloaded very easily or you could go ahead here again right here and right here get more icon packs and it takes you directly to all the icon packs you could download from the store there's a lot of free ones and there's a lot of paid ones and it's very easy you tap right there tap install bum bum it totally installs and then you're it's gonna be available here in this section right there well there's a lot of cool you tap right there look at that look how cool that looks let's go ahead and show you guys another one on axiom this is one that I downloaded recently and look how cool that looks as well so like you see there you can use lots and lots Let's go ahead and use the one that I just downloaded, Moonshine. Let's go ahead, Moonshine. There you go. And look at that. Cool. And of course, it's going to actually customize all the other ones as well. It's going to apply the ones that have icons as well. Um, the another cool thing here is that um, this is one of the cool things that you can um, organize all your apps based on categories or collections. That's how they call it. Uh, so if you want to add a new collection, all you do is tap right there and right here you have other collections you can add. Uh, for example, I can add sports and it's going to add a sports section there and all your sports app are going to appear right there. Like see there automatically it organizes some of the sports apps that I have. And if there's some that's missing, you can always go here, for example, and tap and hold and move one over here. And you can have it right there. You can organize um, how you want these sports app to appear there as well. See? Um, and you got utility. If you want to change the 
the, the position you could go ahead and drag it over here and you can make it look make it put it put it right there you could put games on top and it's very cool this is one of my favorite features of this launcher over here you got all your apps in in by alphabetically order you can just swipe right here through the letters and it'll take you all the apps that you have so it's very cool here you tap and hold as well this is another change they did with the wallpapers there's tons and tons of wallpaper like this wallpaper right here i downloaded from here um you, you go ahead here abstract you can see some wallpapers there and if you want to apply one of them you can go ahead and for example let's go ahead and choose one here from here tap right there i could tap right there you could go ahead and keep swiping and you could keep on swiping through all the wallpapers that are available here. Awesome. So if I want to keep one, let's say, for example, I want to keep that one. Click done. And there you have it. Now you have a new wallpaper. Looks awesome. And the great thing is that there's tons and tons of categories that you could choose from. Tons of categories. And they change, I think, uh, every other week or something like that. And you can also use wallpapers from your gallery. Uh, like right here from your gallery. You can also use wallpapers as well. Or pictures. And it's a good addition that they've done to this app, I think. And you tap and hold. If you want to add widgets, you're going to go ahead. Um, the widget that I have installed right there is this one. It's from Yo Window Clock. It's a 4 by one but if you want to add like for example another widget you could go ahead uh let's go ahead and try to install this evernote widget tap and tap right there um here i could choose whatever i want from here for example quick snap pop up done there you have it and i could go ahead and put that widget there you could go ahead and move it some widgets you will be able to resize others you won't if you want to delete it you tap right there it deletes it and very cool look at that that's a very nice tap right there delete it awesome uh right now by default sometimes there's going to be like a search bar right there if you want to delete that you just go here go here um search settings if you turn it on turn it on now you're going to see the search bar right there so if you like the search bar you can leave it right there but if you want to eliminate it you can just go ahead and do what i did right there so tap right there again here go to search here turn it off uh, safe search you could turn safe search on, off or on moderate whatever you want and uh, that's it disable badge uh, enable badge notifications uh, there's a lot of cool things you could do here I like it and let's go ahead back to the voxel icon pack which I really like and there you have it very cool so guys i uh, just wanted to share this um app with you guys this is a very awesome launcher that i used a lot oh almost forgot when you swipe up you're gonna see all your contact your favorite contacts and from here you could go ahead and dial it or message anyone or dial them choose one of them and you dial them and if you swipe from top to bottom you could get the search bar right there and start searching so that's something that I totally forgot to show you guys. And basically that's it. Just wanted to share this um, little awesome Aviate launcher with you guys. Uh, it's totally free. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. That way you guys can go ahead and try it out. Uh, there's nothing wrong with trying it out. Believe me guys, you might like it just like I like it. And I use this a lot. Remember, I, and I in my channel, I think I have a whole bunch of videos uh, where I'm using this launcher and a lot of those videos are old but coming back to it I gotta say they did a great job great job updating this launcher making it look a little bit more Android because it used to not look like Android look a little bit more like Android and cool features cool features I love it I love it so Thanks for watching the video, guys. This was Yahoo Aviate Launcher for Android devices. This is on the Galaxy Note 4. Thanks for watching. Till next time.